in the previous video we had learnt about multiplexers in this video we would be learning about boolean function implementation using multiplexers boolean function implementation using multiplexer herein we have say a function f x y z is equals to sigma 1 3 5 6 that is we would be having uh, three variables now for three variables uh, to implement a function having three variables we would be requiring a multiplexer with the selector lines equals to number of variables minus 1 that is 3 minus 1 equals to 2 now we would be designing this particular implementing this particular function using a multiplexer with two selector lines that is the multiplexer used would be 4 to 1 here we have min term 1, m1 m3 m5 and m6 as high the truth table for this function would be since we have three variables eight possible combinations are there and the function value would be one for min term m1 m3 m5 and m6 and for all others the min term value uh, function value is zero now here we have three variables out of these three variables variable y and z would behave as the selector lines for the input of this particular multiplexer now we have y and z as 0, 0 in two places. In first place, x is equals to 0, function value is 0. In second place, x is equals to 1, function value is again 0. That is irrespective of value of x, whether it is 0 or it is 1, the function value is 0. That is when we have y, z as 0, 0, 0 input would be given to the 0 would be the output of this particular function thus 0 is the input to uh, 0 would work as the first input for this particular multiplexer when y and z are 0 1 in that case if x is 0 function value is 1 if x is 1 function value is 1 that is irrespective of the value of x the function value is 1 Thus, the second input for this multiplexer would come up, come, come out to be 1. In third case, one, when y0 is 1, 0, we have x as 0, function value as 0, x as 1, function value as 1. That is here, the function value now depends on the value of x. That is, if x is 0, f is 0, x is 1, f is 1. Thus, our third input variable would be equal to x. And in fourth possible fourth uh, combination one one, uh, if x is zero, function value is one, and if x is one, function value is zero. Here we have seen that function value is opposite of the value of x. Thus, the fourth input comes out to be x bar because it's reverse of x. And this is how we implement a Boolean function using a multiplexer. Let's have a look at another example. Now, this is an example with four variables. Four variables means we would be requiring four minus one, that is three selector lines. Three selector lines are used in a eight to one multiplexer. Thus, the multiplexer design would be eight to one. Herein, we have four uh, variables, that is 16 possible combinations, lines B, C and D, that is variable B, C and D, now here behave as the selector line for one of the eight inputs. When B, C, D are 0, 0, 0, A is 0, function value is 1, A is 1, function value is 1, that is irrespective of A, function value comes out to be 1, that is our first input would be one for the case 0 0 1 uh, a is 0 function value is 1 and a is 1 function value is again 1 now here also our in our second uh, in our second input we would be having 1 as the input line in our third combination 0 1 0 function value is uh, sorry a is 0 and function value is 0 a is 1, function value is 0, that is irrespective of A, function value is 0, that is our third input would become 0. In our fourth possible option, 0, 1, 1, when A is 0, function is 1, when A is 1, function is 0, that is reverse of A. Function value is reverse of A, that is A bar. 
in next combination 1 0 0 a is 0 function value is 1 and uh, when a is 1 function value is 0 now here also the value of function is reverse of the value of a thus our input for uh, next input would be also would again become a bar in next case when a b c d are 1 0 1 if a is 0 function is 0 if a is 1 function is 0 that is our next input would now be 0 now when b c d are 1 1 0 a is 0 f is 0 a is 1 f is 1 irrespective of a function value remains 0 that is our next input is also 0 and in the last possible combination that is 1 1 1 when a is 0 function value is 0 when a is 1 function value is 1 that is function value now here depends on the value of a so our last input would be a and now this is how we have implemented a multi uh, a boolean function using a to one multiplexer we can design any boolean uh, any boolean function in the form of a multiplexer using this particular format thank you and have a nice day